Hey, how are you doing? My name is Mark and welcome to You Do You. Just here to do a very quick review of Voyager from 1995. Very short review because there's not really much to say. Voyager is a woody aromatic with all the usual suspects. A citrus top, Clarice Agent Lavender in the middle, and then woods meaning cedar and sandalwood and oak moss at the base. By the 1990s, Cool Water and Green Irish Tweed had been released and so there had already been this movement toward blue fragrances. The trend of clean and fresh hasn't exactly solidified in culture and so when I, when I smell Voyageur, I feel like it was stuck between the clean and the blue. So it's not particularly blue and it's not particularly clean. It's like some it's like stuck in some in a limbo. Inside Voyager feels kind of stuffy, but if you wear it outside, it gets to be a much more pleasant experience, especially if it's windy. I think it's the heavy cedar in Voyager that makes it work better outside. The the cedar really does feel heavy. To me, Voyager feels stern and bookish. There's nothing easygoing about it. it There's no carefree spirit that could have made it attractive. It feels very, very humorless to me. One of the things that Voyager makes me think is like, when you were in college, have you ever experienced spending a vacation studying for an exam? Well, I've experienced that. This is like being by the sea, except that you can't enjoy the sea and all you have to do is read your goddamn textbooks. I picked up Voyager because all the scents of Jean Patou have been discontinued. And so when I saw a bottle of this, I had to snatch it up. But is that something that I would recommend you do? Not really. I think that, you know, for, for everything that's wonderful about the house of Jean Patou, I love Mill. Let that be said. It's, it's meant for women, but Mill is just, it is unisex, number one. And number two is we're talking about scents by by the perfumer Jean Kerlieu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Jean Kerlieu or something like that. This is very, very inferior. I think I've, it's unsure about itself. It feels almost forced. It doesn't sparkle. It doesn't glisten. It's like it has no sense of space and light. It feels so claustrophobic. Does it smell good? Yes, it does. But is it special? No, in fact, I think that the cheapies by Natalie Larson are better. Maybe Voyager is just for people who happen to wear this in the 90s and so have attached memories to it. But, well, in the 90s, I was more attached to Polo Crest and Cool Water, First Edition Carolina Herrera. Those are wonderful, I think. This one, I did see it in stores when I was a teenager, but I never quite picked it up. And now that I'm smelling it again, I kind of know why. It just doesn't fly. Yes, the ingredients are good. The tone of the wood of the cedar is quite fine. The only problem with it is that there's nothing particularly remarkable about the way those notes were handled. It's like they're just, they were just laid there. There wasn't, no magic happened. The perfect word I think really is stern. It has Marian the Grammarian vibes to me. Very bookish. To reiterate, if you wear it outside, I think it'll be fine. But even for that scenario, I think that there are better, there really are better options. I've done two full wears and the second time I wore it, yeah, kind of slightly better. But still, it just, no magic. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.